Hi friends, today we are going to create an art piece inspired by the book Chengdu Could Not Would Not Fall Asleep. In this project, we are going to continue working with tinting and shading, but instead of doing a still life, we're going to do a portrait of Chengdu. At your tables, you each will receive a white oil pastel, black oil pastel, and green oil pastel. You will also receive a large black piece of paper. I'm going to work with a small one just so I have more space for you guys to watch, okay? The first thing we're going to do, friends, is we're going to start with the head. And we're gonna start just by drawing with a white oil pastel. So, first, um, flipping my piece of paper over, I'm gonna use that white oil pastel and write my name so it's easy to read, okay? Notice how I still wrote it pretty small. I didn't cover the whole piece of paper. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do, friends, is I'm gonna start with the head, and you guys will each get a handout that shows you how to draw, but you can also look up and look at tips from me. The first thing we're gonna do, drawing the head, I know that my head is gonna cover a good amount of the piece of paper. So notice how I just circled around and practiced the shape first. Once I feel confident, I'm gonna go down and make a circle of that head. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the ears. And again, we're just working with the white oil pastel. So the ears are like tiny rainbows on either side of Chengdu's head. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the eyes, okay? The eyes are ovals that are slanted in like so. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an oval that's slanted and another oval that's slanted. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger. If I make any mistakes with the white oil pastel, that's okay because I know I use black paper and I can use black oil pastel to cover up any of my mistakes. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to do the back of Chengdu. So I'm gonna do a curved line going down like so. Then I'm gonna do the feet, and this is where it gets a little weird. I'm going to go in, I'm gonna make another curve line like this. So it's almost like another little rainbow kind of going in. And then I'm just gonna make some toes, just like that, little toes. There's one foot. For the other foot, I'm gonna go over here and I'm going to make a curve like the curve of the head. So I'm gonna go in and around, and then I'm gonna do the other side of the head, or hand right by the head, go in, and doing a few little loop-de-loops, like so. The next thing I'm gonna do, Chengdu is uh, on a tree, so he's hugging a tree. So I'm gonna do the top of the tree branch. The tree branch is gonna be sitting right below him. So I'm gonna do kind of a wiggly line because trees aren't perfectly straight by the head. And then it's gonna go by the tummy. See how it's kind of bumping? And then again, right here. Now, Chengdu doesn't just have two, an arm and a leg. He actually has two arms and two legs. So right here, right next to this hand, I'm gonna draw three little loop-de-loops, and then I'm gonna connect them with a curved line for the other hand that's just poking out. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, and I'm actually this time gonna start with the kind of curved line, and then just do three little loop-de-loops. It looks weird right now because they're just floating in the sky. But then I'm going to go around and add my branch. Like so. The next thing I'm going to do, friends, is I'm going to start by coloring in my Chengdu. Okay? So that means my Chengdu, when looking at this, one characteristic of panda bears is they have a black patches of hair around their eyes. We still want to show the whites of the eyes. So right in here, what I'm going to do is I'm first going to do the circle of the eye. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to color it in, but I'm going to leave a little black dot. Color it in. 
leave a little black dot. Like that. Just like that. That little black dot is our pupil. If you accidentally color it in a little too much, you just take your black oil pastel and make it a little bit bigger. So that's the pupil and the whites of the eye. Then what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna color all this white first because the panda bear is here is white so now all of a sudden he's going to kind of disappear I'm not coloring the ovals in around and I'm not going to cover the ears in yet so those are going to be black so once I've done that I'm going to take my black oil pastel I'm going to gently ooh, go around the eye and then I'm gonna color in that oval shape again. And if I accidentally got white in it, that's okay. So I can just cover that up. Just like this. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a cute little nose. Right in here kind of almost like a heart shape. And then you can go in and you can add a mouth if you want to, but you don't have to. That's your creative choice. So then I'm gonna go in and the ears and arms and hands of Chengdu, they are gonna be black oil pastel. And although we have um, black paper already, we still wanna color it in because that will create a texture because the black oil pastel and the black piece of paper are a little bit different shades of black. So it's gonna kind of create the texture of fur. Notice even when I go over that white, it also helps create that texture of fur. Just like so. I'm gonna do this one right here. I don't need to go super thick setting a nice layer. The reason we started with white is because white can be covered up by black, but black can't be covered up by white that well. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do my tummy. Tummy of Chengdu. Coloring it in. Just like this. And then finally, I'm going to do the branch, and this is where, where we're gonna do some tinting and shading. So when you look at an object, friends, you'll notice that the bottom of objects are darker, and then the top are a little bit lighter, okay? We're gonna put a moon in the sky, because Chengdu is trying to fall asleep, right? So I'm gonna do a moon. I could do a few craters in there if I wanted to. And then I'm gonna color it in all the way. This moon is giving off light on Chengdu and his branch. So if I want to get super crazy, I could maybe add a little bit of lightness on Chengdu to show that highlight or that tinting. So then the top of my branch is going to be lighter than the bottom. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to take my white oil pastel and I'm gonna go over halfway, actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the whole thing. I lied, I'm gonna do the whole thing. And I'm kinda going back and forth, trying to make it more of like a branch, wood grain. And if you wanna be super creative too, well not super creative, but if you wanna make it a little bit more interesting, you can go in with the brown oil pastel and put that brown on there to show, well, the tree is brown, but it's dark outside, so it's gonna look more black. So I added a little brown in there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add that shading, and at the bottom, I'm going to shade it in like this. It also might have some shadows or shading underneath the tummy of Chengdu. I might have a little shadowing right there and right under the chin too. Like that. Right here it's going to be nice and light. And right here I'll have it a little lighter too. I'm going to go over with that brown one more time. 
just on its side. And then finally, I'm going to do some bamboo shoots because um, pandas are usually seen in Asian countries and a plant that is popular is a bamboo shoot. So I'm going to take my green and I'm going to have the bamboo shoots go behind Chengdu. So I just bent it and then I'm just going to add some leaves. Like this. Again, if I want to get super crazy, I can add white on one side of the bamboo shoot. I'm going to blend some green into that so it's a little bit softer. And then black, like so. I'm going to do one more, and you friends can choose to do more than two. It's going to go up. Bamboo shoot. Like that. And then I'm going to tint it, which means I'm adding white. And I'm going to shade it, which means I'm adding black. And then I'll go in between and I'll add the green there so they blend together. You can also use your fingers to blend if you want to as well. So I could go in using my fingers and blending in as well. And there you have it friends, Chengdu. Now some of us friends might get done with these in one class and some of us friends might need a little bit more time. If you get done early, think about other things you might want to add in the background. Maybe I do want to add a few more bamboo shoots. That is your creative choice, friends. Can't wait to see your final products and how beautiful they are.